Hi, this is Alfauzia Nihar from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session today. The topic that we are going to discuss in today's video is solving problems based on tangent and secant of a circle. Let's see what is tangent secant theorem. Circle is an important and most common shape studied in geometry. Am I right? It is being seen in almost every subject. Recall that a circle is a plane. I mean two dimensional figure that is made up of the points which are equidistant from one fixed point that is called center and the distance is termed as radius of the circle. There are many concepts related to circle and what we are discussing is a tangent and secant which are quite useful one. A tangent is just a line segment that is drawn outside the circle and it essentially touches the circle at one and only one point. Secant is defined as a line segment that passes through the circle. It cuts the circle at two places. We may define secant as a line that intersects the circle at two points. Please look at the figure on the board. AB is a tangent because it touches circle at only one point and ADC is the secant. It touches the circle at two points. Okay. In geometry, we come across with an important theorem that is called tangent secant theorem which explains about the relationship between a tangent and a secant of a circle. Okay, we shall go ahead in this video and learn about tangent secant theorem and its application in problem solving. If a tangent and a secant or if two secants intersect from a point outside the circle, then there are two useful theorems or you can also say that as formulas that relate the side lengths of the two given segments, either tangent and secant, secant or secant or tangent and tangent. Let me recap the theorems quickly. We have already explained well this theorem, statement and proof in our one of our previous video, tangent secant video. If you want, you can refer that video. Let me just state the theorem and uh, give you the formulas here. According to tangent secant theorem, when a tangent and a secant are drawn from one single external point to a circle, square of the length of the tangent segment must be equal to the product of the length of whole sec secant segment and the exterior portion of secant segment. I have drawn the figure and mentioned what type of figure is that. Now let me give you the formulas for each case. I have mentioned the lengths as AEC and ABCD. I have also attached the formulas for this one. You can compare the statement and the figure with the formulas for your better understanding. Here is the second theorem. The measure of a tangent secant angle made at the point outside a circle is equal to one half of the difference between measures of intercepted arcs by these line segments. So these are the two theorems we are going to apply in all the problems. Okay, I'll attach a figure for your better understanding. Here is the formula. The angle is half times the difference between the major and minor arc. Hope you are clear with this theorem too. Now let us see some solve problems. Please look at this example. Use the theorem for intersection of a tangent and secant of a circle to solve the problems below. In this diagram, the red line is a tangent one. So we can apply the formula x square, the length of the tangent, the whole square would be the entire one multiplied by this one. Okay. Let us simplify it further. 12 times 5 is 60. X is taking square root on both these sides. X is equal to square root of 60. For these types of problems, look at the figure given. Examine whether the lines are secant or tangent. You have to understand how many secants given. You should know whether the given lines are secant secant or tangent secant. So once you are clear with that part, you will understand easily which theorem to apply. Once you are clear with the theorem, look at the question and check what the question is asking for. In this question, they are asking for the length of the tangent. So I am using the tangent secant formula. Hope you are clear with this example. So please look at this question. Second example red line is the tangent and what is the length please see that the blue line is a secant it touches the circle at two point so again we are going to use the same formula to find the missing length of the tangent total length of secant times 7 16 times 7 that is 112 so the missing length of the tangent would be square root of 112 that's it for this example here is an example for two secants intersecting 
here is the third example you have to use the theorem if b equal to 4 c equal to 8 and d equal to 5 let me write the formula for this one from the theorem now let's plug in the values given this formula is from the two second theorem okay b can be replaced by 4 and c can be replaced by 5 and d can be replaced by 8 you can simplify it further please look at the right hand side 8 plus 5 is 13 13 times 5 is 64 65 divide both these sides by 4 so you'll get a plus 4 value subtract 4 from both these sides therefore the unknown measurement of the length a would be equal to 12.25 hope you're clear with this example this is how we apply the theorem first you have to look at the given figure and check for the question and then you can pick up the correct formula from the theorems and then plug in the given values and solve algebraically step by step here is the next example so you have to find the theorem which is suitable for this figure this is very similar a b and c d b c d values are given ok let us apply the theorem the formula would be plug in the given values so this would become by combining the like terms we get multiplying the terms on the right side we'll get divide both these sides by 8 260 over 8 will give you 32.5 subtract 8 from both these sides so you'll get the a value that's it for this example hope you're clear with the application of this formula here is your next example let me draw the figure for you the measurements for KO KJ LO is given we are supposed to find the measure of LM so how do we use the theorem to find the side LM KO times JO will be equal to LO times MO that is the theorem so what is JO JO is nothing but KO minus KJ am I right where KO is 16 and KJ is 4 therefore JO is 12 now let us plug in all this given information in the formula KO can be replaced by 16 JO by 12 and LO by 32 the direct information for JO is not given we are just using the given information KJ to find the measurement of JO this is our step 1 step 2 is plugging in all the given information and the answer from step 1 16 times 12 is 192 dividing both these sides by 32 will get 6 therefore m m o equal to 6 so from the figure what is lm lm is nothing but l o minus m o so we can now find the value of the length of lm l o is given in this question directly 32 m o is the answer that we just got in step 2 therefore lm is 26 not all the information will be given in the question some indirect clues will also be given in this question so we have to use those indirect information and find the steps the answers that we need to find the final answer hope you are clear with this example so in order to solve problems which involve secants, tangents, secants, segments formed by them we need to necessarily know the two things we have to know the basic properties of the segments formed by sec secants and tangents and we must solve basic linear and quadratic equations because we used to solve the problems using algebraic methods uh, let me give you a typical problem involving the segments formed by secants and tangents in a circle which gives us information about the measures of the secants and tangents or the segments formed when they intersect each other and the circle okay I have two examples please look at this example two secants is drawn on the circle and the measurements for some segments are given so what is the measure of the segment AP we are supposed to find the value of X and plug in back in this and find the value of AP the products of the external segment and the entire secant must be equal for both sequence secant so we have plug in all the given information let us solve this equation and solve for x so we will get by distributing 10 I'm getting 20x plus 100 18x plus 108 combining all the x terms and combining all the numbers will get 2x equal to 8 dividing both these sides by 2 x is equal to 4 so far we found the pronumeral the actual question is 
asking us to find AP. AP is equal to 2x plus 10. Substitute the value of x, so 2 times 4 plus 10. Therefore, the value of AP is 18. That's it for this example. Here is your next problem. You can take it as a practice problem. Here is the question. Remembering that when a secant and a tangent meet at a point outside a circle, the product of the exterior part of the secant with its entire length is equal to the square of the tangent segment. So, I am going to generate the equation. You can take it as a practice problem. So, in case if you plug in all the given information, you will be getting a quadratic equation. So, generally we used to get two answers for x value using quadratic formula. Am I right? In case if you get any negative value, please reject that. Since the length of a segment cannot be a negative number, you have to reject the negative number when you are getting a quadratic equation. Consider the positive number as your answer. In case if you want to double check your answer, you better plug in back the answer, the x value in the quadratic equation and check whether the left hand side is equal to right hand side or not. Hope you are clear with the examples that we discussed in today's video. See you in the next video. Have a great time ahead.